What's up guys, it's Warbird987, uh, coming to you with another build guide. This time it's going to be for a watchtower. Uh, this one right here. So basically I've been kind of like workshopping the idea around a bit. And I was thinking, you know, all, all medieval towns should have some type of watchtower. I feel like that would make sense, you know, so that way you can, you can spot if anybody's coming from a distance. So, uh, just kind of going, giving you an overview real quick of what it looks like, uh, just to make sure that you uh, do want to build this, if that's something you want. And then a brief look of the inside. So essentially the inside is going to mainly compose of all the stuff you have in here would be, if you're under attack, you'd want stuff in here to, to equip with yourself and then be good to go. And then the rest of the floors are just for looking out. You've got these, so that way you've got the arrow slits and it would make it really easy to uh you know fire on somebody from above and not have to worry about getting fired on while you're uh while you're up there so yeah just kind of wanted to go over a brief little overview of what the tower looks like on the outside and the inside and then before we get started with the build i'm going to go ahead and put the materials list up on the screen right now uh feel free to pause that if need be uh so that way you can make sure that you have everything you need Okay, so first things first, you're going to build a 5x5 five five square, uh, similar to this, and then you are going to take that up 11 blocks. So for this, we're going to use the calcite, so we got the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so then, since this is just going up to 11 blocks, I'm just going to go ahead and time lapse this. Okay, so now that you've got the, the basic shape of the tower started, what you're going to want to do is then take your cobbled deep slate stairs and go in the middle of this. So in the middle here of the front of your tower, go ahead and make the, the Sioux High Hole for where your door is going to be. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the, the cobbled deep slate all the way around the base just like this. Uh, basically what we're doing here is we're going to give the tower a little bit more depth at the base of it. So once you've done that, you can go up one block and do the same thing again. Make sure it's facing downwards. So that way uh, it, it'll make sense once we put the next set in. Okay, so now that we have that finished, then use your Diorite stairs and put those upside down. Just to kind of give the look that the tower is a bit thicker on the bottom. That way it can actually support all the weight that's going to be up top. Makes it look a little bit more realistic. So take this one there. And there you have it. So that's going to be the, the basic structure of this. So next step that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take out all four of these corners. So this is important because this is going to help add a little bit of texture onto the side of it. So once we have all of these done, we can use the, the cobbled deep slate stairs again to, to kind of add a little bit more texture. So then for this next step, once you've got all of those kind of hollowed out, what you're going to want to do is the first step, you should put uh, the, the cobbled deep slate stair facing towards the center here and then go face the center here. So basically you just keep repeating this pattern all the way up uh, so that way it gives it kind of a cool textured look. And so you want to make sure you, you do this the same on each side. I mean, if you if you don't, that's fine. It would give it just a little bit more randomized texture looking thing. It wouldn't be necessarily even. But I think that it looks best when you do it like that. So then uh, keep the same thing this way. So you want to make sure that this on the back side, first one's facing inwards towards the center or towards the front of the build. Repeat the pattern. And then do the same thing here on the last side. So pretty, pretty easy step to do. Um, okay, so now actually on this 11th step, you're actually going to want to take out these top ones to replace them with regular calcite. Uh, so then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put the cobbled deep slate stairs all around so they're facing downwards. Doing 
Okay, so that looks good. And then what you can do is two down from the center, so one, two, make a, a hole that's three of these wide. So do that for each side. So you can do the one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then what you do is you take the diorite walls, you add those in at the top and bottom of this. This kind of gives you the, the arrow slit, makes it a little bit easier for you to shoot out while not getting shot at. So it keeps it keeps it pretty easy for you. So then what you're going to want to do is take your calcite and go to one of the corners, go up four, and then repeat this for each of the four corners. So three, four, one, two, three, four. And then what you're going to want to do is add in uh, two columns in between this. So just one block wide, so then four more. So essentially each side should end up looking like this. So just going to do that quickly. Well, pretty pretty simple step. It's all pretty much the same process over and over, so not really a need to elaborate further on that one. Okay, so then as you can see for that one, we're going to take the polished deep slate stairs and make sure the stairs are facing down and go all the way around this. Here we go. Just want to make sure that we got the roof looking good for this part. Not doing that. And then do it one more time, but up one layer so that way you can uh, get, the, get the too high kind of sealing our roof of it. So just do that quick. Okay, so, oh, nope, not quite. Okay, so then now at this point, if you look back, your tower should look like this. So realistically, if you wanted to, you could end it there uh, height-wise, and I think it would still look pretty neat. But that is not what we're going to do. So what we're going to do instead is fill this entire thing with uh, with the calcite and then go up three more from there. Now, actually, you can just go up one, two, one, two, because this is going to be that top layer that you see over there. One, two, one, two. And then just place another one right in the middle of all these. And you're good. So then for the next step, what you can do is take the polished deep slate stairs again. Go ahead, go over the top part. And then take your, your deep slate slabs and just kind of extend this out. You'll use a total of 24 of these things just to kind of give this a little bit more depth so it sticks out a bit. Okay, so then once you have that, what you can do is place place a dirt block there to uh, kind of make so you can actually place it. So take that and just do a little ring around this and then take the deep slate stairs, point them towards the center. Add another dirt block, place the polished deep slate above it. Then what you want to do, uh, just kind of for additional decoration, is you take, I, I, I used a black banner, I just like how it looks with that, so you take it, you put one in the middle here, put them on the sides like that, and just kind of repeat that for each side. Oops, not like that, in the center. So, okay. We have that done, at least on this one, then I also added some in at the, the base level, but might, you might not like how that looks, uh, depending on whether or not you kind of like that floating banner. Look, I, I kind of just like how it looks on the ground, so that's why I put it there. Um, and then what we want to do is take the Diorite walls once again. Actually, before we, before we do this level, make sure to have all of these filled in with the calcite. This is this is important because otherwise the walls will just kind of look like they're hanging and it won't it will not look good. So then just do the not too right stairs. Do your right walls on each of these. Keeps it easy. 
just by repeating the same process that we did using the one below. And then for the ones up at the top, what I did on that tower, as you can see, is just put the diorite walls along the base of it. And if you look outside at this, that is basically the entirety of the outside of it. So it's a it's a pretty quick build. Um, but then if you want to see how I do the inside, I mean the inside you, you've seen it, it's pretty pretty blank uh, all around. So just gonna go ahead and start doing the inside using uh so the first thing you're going to want to do is get some dark dark oak planks because those are going to be those are going to be work well for us we're going to need ladders we're going to need a door <laughs> uh, you know that was a that one's probably a gimme i'm going to use a crafting table i'm going to have just a regular chest i'm going to use a fletching table then I'm going to grab two item frames, and I'm also going to grab uh, some lanterns. So the lanterns, I just, I always use lanterns. I, I think they look much, much better than uh, torches do. So then take out the entire base of the tower like this. So you've got, you've got ten total squares along the bottom to take out. Take those out, fill them with slabs, put the door on the inside there. And then for this first floor, uh, what you're going to want to do is basically we want to fill this in right, right at the same level that, that those are. So you take those there and you actually you take out this one here. So exact opposite side of the wall of the door. Let's go ahead and put the ladders. And then what we're going to do is take the lanterns and just fill the corners with this. Put a crafting table right here, chest right here, fletching table there so that the inside kind of looks like this and then three high put an item frame there an item frame there and then what i like to do then is also grab an armor stand i uh, will just grab a full set of armor while we're at it as well as a sword and a bow I like the crossbow, I think it looks cooler in the in the frame. So we're gonna do that. So a sword, crossbow. Just kinda, you know, you gotta have the, the gear you'd need if you were fighting. So then the inside floor just kinda looks something like this. You'd be able to grab all of your gear and go. And then for the other floors, we're gonna do the same type of thing where we just fill in uh, the level of these with the planks except we're going to want to leave this corner one open so that way when we come up this ladder we can then go up here and then this one unfortunately i haven't found a good way to actually uh you know have a hanging ladder i don't even think that's possible but i just add in another calcite column it looks a little goofy i know that but it's the best way to make the most of this space here. So that way you have access to every floor of the tower. And then with that, don't forget, you gotta get those lanterns again. And what we're gonna do with these, one here, there, there. Basically just put them in the corners. That's usually, that's usually a pretty good uh, rule of thumb there. And do it for the last floor. Actually, for this last floor, just do it like this since we can't make it even. And then, if we go ahead, go outside and look. Uh, basically, we've we've completed the tower. Uh, so that's that's really all you need to do. It's it's a pretty simple tower to make, but I think that it looks really cool. I think it would look pretty awesome with uh, if you have two of these and a gate in between them or something like that. I've tried out a couple different test builds. I mean, you can probably see over there just with different color palettes, but this is this is the one that I like the most. I think that it looks the best. Uh, so I hope that you enjoyed, and if you if you like this tutorial, please consider subscribing and go ahead and like the video. So thank you.